What's going on YouTube? It's your boy K Dash. Before we even get into this vlog, take a moment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy K Dash once again, and this will be five tips to making a classic album cover. So let me start off by saying shout out to my boy Mike Frost, which is one of the coldest graphic designers in Houston, Texas, who does like all of the top artists in Houston, all the album covers, uh, the booklet, everything that, you know, goes for promotional purposes, I should say. But um, yeah, man, I had the opportunity to go to uh, Rice University yesterday and they had like a, a tribute thing to the work that he's produced like I said, for a lot of these classic, iconic albums for Houston, Texas. So um, I'm gonna let him, you know, explain the five key things to making a classic album cover. This is not a vlog that's gonna be um, a tutorial inside of Adobe or, you know, something like that. This is just um, key pieces of information that you can apply to your shoot. So that way, you know, you can get the best outcome in that very professional look. I had the opportunity to work with Mike myself. He did my whole album booklet for my album, K Dash. Y'all go get that album. Um, I'll put the link in the description for that. And yeah, I'm he's just a person that you can pay your money for a project and you don't have to worry about, oh, am I gonna like how it comes out looking? Like it's gonna be store ready, um, just the promotional material that you receive. Is gonna help you um, promote your album that much easier because of the look that he's gonna be able to give you, you know. And um, the I have a video separate of his actual event. If you want to check that out, I'll have the link in the description as soon as that's available as well. But yeah, no further ado, Mike Frost. I appreciate you, homie, for doing this for me and to giving these upcoming graphic designers the opportunity to get a little bit of inside knowledge that you have and yeah y'all check it out top five things into a, a great album cover um one you you really got to tap into who the person is that you're shooting you need to understand what other people are going to think about them or already think about them you need to understand the music you need to understand where they came from um first you got to get that one thing too on a cover is, if it doesn't have a purpose, it doesn't need to be there. So you always want to move towards simplicity and refining that that vision you're trying to create. That you almost trying to create an aura around a person. Um, good good colors. You know the colors need to pop. Not too many. Not too busy. Pick two or three. Um, text. I don't. Complicated text can be cool on some things, but I think you. Your text shouldn't get in the way of your artwork or like the vision you're doing. If it doesn't add to that vision, it, it needs to be simplified, it needs to go away. Um, and then just get rid of like, try to eliminate trends in your album cover. If you see trends and if, you, if you're good, you can try to create a trend. Like with Paul wearing the grill, that created a, a trend. Um, so that's, uh, if you get those things all together, you, you're good. Well, it's, of course, Paul Walsh, the Chameleon Air, uh, Mike Jones, or the four from Houston, work with Common, um, Devin the Dude, uh, Scarface, you know. Sorry. My thing is Houston, like I did all of Houston, so everything you can think of Houston, that's, that's the biggest thing. Is The biggest client has been the city of Houston itself. My uh, advice to future graphic designers is if you're an artist, don't limit yourself to any set, set of tools. Um, I do a lot of programming, a lot of development. Uh, I do a lot of like CNC work, laser cutting stuff. Like I'm into creating products. Um, expand your tool set as far as you can. Um, and then if whatever your 
art career doesn't work, those skills will be valuable to businesses and other people. So you, no matter what, you can always make money. Just education to me, I spend one to three hours a day. I've done this every day since probably when I was about 18 years old. Every day I spend time studying and learning new skills. Every day.